Hey guys. So guess what? Turns out, uh, I just wasn't looking in the weapons room hard enough. Instead of spending his time at the console, and there being a wall here, I imagine there was a wall, but it's actually gone, he decided to just calibrate the weapons directly. So here's Garrus. Let's finally talk to him. Shepard was starting to think you forgot my favorite hangout. Don't! That's rude, Sorry. man. That's rude. Busy. Looks like you've managed to settle in. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Oh god, don't talk more about than the six kid. Or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the And attack. like lots of other people. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. And he matters Being more right because he's a kid. He's never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. The M to the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell yeah, loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Miles619, thank you for the 55-month resub. You have been with us since... Feels like that's the beginning, 55 months ago. If someone beats that, I'll be even more impressed. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> Watched a kid die on Earth and loved it! Depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Challenge accepted. Something else you want to talk about? So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Let me guess, he laughed in your face. Amazingly, no. He just listened. My father may have been a pain in the ass about rules and regulations, but he never let politics cloud his judgment. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning Gotta love another shot calls. ruined by an unnecessary Maybe lens flare. I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well... Even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. <laughs> We're over in Tiny Train World. Quinn is relieving stress. So, Quinn, do you have reach or flexibility? Well, I'm extraordinarily tall, or so people keep telling me, so I guess I have reach. I think I used to have flexibility, but then my bones hardened. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? 
Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Oh, Pretty that's soon, a good blind one. hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are tossed Strong over. hearts, clear eyes, if can't just one fail. survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. I won't take that personally. Uh, so, I did end up doing a lot of scouting around in between this stream and the last one. So, pretty much all of the... A pleasure to see you. Scannable war assets... Uh, that are out there at this point in the game, I found. So we're act I'm gonna do one more tour of the ship and then we're actually gonna dive right down to Tachanka. Tachanka! Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. <sighs> Every fucking What's companion room has a giant How long it took monitor. the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Abyss Ghost, thank you for the 11 month resub. I've been enjoying your streams, Quinn. I now find it weird when someone else uses the Stream Four Star channel. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I know, I know Karen and Grant might actually uh, try and put more material on the stream, so don't, don't be surprised. Be pleasantly, ple I guess it's still a pleasant surprise. I, I don't know what else to call it. Enjoy. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know, it must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many, to witness so much death. Jeez, where would humanity be if we lived for a thousand years? <sighs> Who would be like? You would have, you'd have a uh, William the Conqueror be near the end of his lifespan if people, <laughs> people live that long. A smoking crater, yeah. <laughs> Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. My Too strong a word, Shepard. Duty to I the ship. I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. As a friend. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? All right, there we go. Now we're getting the squad abilities. All right, let's have a chat with Javik, and then we'll go down to we'll go up to talk to Edie, and then we'll head over to Tachanka. I mean, yeah, the the base is something would be if we if we kept breeding as much as we have, as well as living that long, we'd be totally overpopulated. But I'm more concerned about maybe if we cut down on the population. You're saying they survived right. into this cycle? Yes, we called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers for a long time. No one knew they were Prothean. 
And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Commander. 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 Okay, well, I hit the, hit the bottom of that well. Uh, I guess... Huh. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have actual dialogue after that. Hmm. Any messages? No, okay. Man, even the frickin' hologram has a lens flare just crammed into it. Why? Was Did this come out at the height of J.J. Abrams' cinematic his cinematic career? I don't, don't remember. Worry. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the cyber warfare suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Okay. So a Prothean. A real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Commander. Commander. All right. No one's really talkative right now. Uh... I'm wondering if it's worth going down to try and Morden and Eve to see if they have any more convos. Hey! I saw you looking away from your station! I'm gonna dock your pay for that. about this all right uh let's see which one to do first i know we don't do this one because that that wraps up to chanka i'm gonna do this one first because the title of the stream is i'm killing cerberus so i'm killing cerberus i choose eyes are closed you and Sure. Uh, I'm gonna try bringing the claymore to this. Also, yeah, I recolored the armor, made it all kind of biotic blue. So my power recharge is gonna be cut down a bit, but I wanna see just how much boom shakalaka this claymore brings to the table. Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there, Those stop. conniving Try bastards are so clever. Here. We'll get it done. See to it. Knock it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational commander. I'll go back up and get a radar with the shooting at Get on it. Alright, let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. This I can do. Oh, oh. Hi! Commander, I have a visual on an inbound service cruiser. The cannon fire is clearing the way. If that ship makes it to the bombardment range, the Krogan resistance is in trouble. Track of the lieutenant. On it. Ah! 
This is my boomstick. This isn't paying off. Uh, who else is still alive? Nobody? Okay, hold on. No, ah, why didn't you, I was pressing the button. Why aren't you charging? Kill right. anything starting to see some drawbacks. This I can do. That extra second of recharge it is costing me when I'm being very overzealous on the charging. Yeah, so it's very much anything I fire at dies, but... That is a bit of an annoying problem to have. Oh, sorry, we're we using this to help? Well, now it's just gonna shoot you. They're pulling the plug. Aww. We need to get the power back on. Let's move. Uh, can't really get to them up there. There we go. Thank you for landing. I'm very torn on this gun right now. That, that one shot before the reload is kind of killing the fuck out of me. even work. What? Hold on. Can I really not make like this? Dang it. What a waste of a name. What a waste of a shot. No. Don't take cover. Reroute the power to the main console. Heading back now. And so Cerberus, probably. Oh wait, is this another multiplayer map? I just thought about that. Ah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, give me an overload on the turret and a lift grenade on this guy. Take that, ankles. everyone 
Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. That sounds like Seems someone likely. else's problem. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Well, I guess while I'm over here, hey Rex, any new dialogue? Need something, Shepard? Well, you sound peppy. Also, I feel like we've already had all this conversation, but let's try this one. What's the situation back on Tachanka? You were just there. I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Ha ha, beat you to it. Hope your quad's okay, Rex. And there's the garage door. Oh, what fun. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised they're not just cutting our supply lines. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Yeah, he would, would he? And Liara wants to talk. All right, so I guess we gotta do some ship moseying again. Uh, Adams wanted to talk. He's in engineering. Liara wanted to talk. No, John Goodman is not the voice of Rex. I don't think I know the VA's name offhand, but I can tell you it's not John Goodman. <laughs> Uh, you know what, Liara? Hold on. I was wondering if there was new dialogue over here anyway. You might as well do it before I forget. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being... Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. 
Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated, likely stress, eating appropriately. Could use another blanket, something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient, my responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Hey, I'll send you to Vermeer. You're going to test to see what that nuclear explosion did to the wildlife. No, no, don't get... Okay. Something else, Commander? Uh, guess not. Thanks for talking to me. Now I have to get back up it's on the pleasure, dang Commander. bed, Shepard. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Did it... Did it work? Hold on, I'm using your terminal. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all uh, sacrifice all of us without a thought if he could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Yeah, never meet your heroes, Liara. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. Wait. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Did you want to talk or not? Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Okay, one more time and then I'm leaving. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? Uh. I want to show you something I've been working on. Let me know if we can meet in your cabin, Shepard. <sighs> okay, but no Please, funny business. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk to Adams first. Oh wait, hold on. You might actually have been in the crew quarters again. Which we'll find out. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-bearing vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. 
Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Brilliant engineer, but can't quite handle any sort of concept of metaphysics. Or maybe even philosophy. Uh, or, well, wait. That's definitely not what Adams wanted me to be here for. Or was that really trying to draw my attention to this conversation? Commander, remember the problem ah, I mentioned? Go. About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Time Thanks, for more Commander. shopping! Also, wait. What? Uh, guys! <laughs> Bit of a shining moment here. You're, uh... You're about 20 feet away from where you should be doing that. And you're still... Yep, yep, just typing. Uh, guys? Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander? Okay... Just gonna leave now. All right, Liara, what did you want up here? No funny business. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Oh no, I do not like this music. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? This sounds flirty. Put down the truth. Good? Bad? Don't leave anything out. Especially mentioned that I hated when that facts. kid died. Let me hated just it. all these breathless Wink. passages on your heroics. <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Friend. Yes. We're friends. It's good to have a crew I can trust. Maybe we don't always say it so plainly, but we're proud to be here, Shepard. And proud of you. Thanks. Whew. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So two for weapon damage and two for the other. Power recharge speed, power damage, recharge speed. I think these are just two. Yeah, two. All right, we'll go with that. I like having her recharge faster. You're looking good and your powers are fine. Uh, wait, no, can I? So I can't cycle their powers, just their appearance. All right, back to Tachanka. Well, we're saving Turian, so Garrus is an ob uh, obvious pick. As for the next one... Sure. Uh, man, the Claymore is so much kick to it. I really do like it, but having more shots and having my powers recharged just so much faster, I think, sets the Scimitar above it. I really should try and get a new heavy pistol or something. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch, son. Huh. Try to raise him. Even the Turians aren't immune to nepotism. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian coat is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, ma'am. The Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by reefer harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Well, at least did that pretty fast. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Maps of the area list no important resources. Hold on. How quick was that, Edie? Escape pod. Our first casualties. It appears that they survived the crash, and then a harvester exploded the pod. Hey, we finally got a submachine gun. Uh, can I change the loadout for... Wait. What? Then what did you have instead of the Tempest? Mmm... -hmm. Confusing. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and eaten by husks. 
picking up auditory evidence of conflict. You hear signs of battle. Got it. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Okay, I'll charge and then Nova, and then that'll cause such a big ruckus you can just pick them off at your leisure. Okay, here we go. Wait, okay, where were you all of you when I was making the first charge? Okay, well, I don't have anything against that. Well, rude. I did it! Thank you. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. We managed to save them all. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. Wars expected to run in the Victus blood. Organic species give disproportionate credit to parental influence. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Sure, but you can't shame a village for raising a bad kid, Evie. We can try. Looks like we got the jump. Yeah, just do this. Yeah, do that, Garrus. your butt at me oh hi hi I think we saved all those men come this way aren't I just the best I'm not sure. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? How's Victus going to live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Ooh, a smart choke. I love it when the people choking me are smart. I know what I said. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Oh, hi. I just stood. He was not kidding. A love tap. Okay, 
Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. I am trying to understand the emotions and politics that would motivate the Turian. Okay, how did this how did this crash backwards? Broken Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together. So let's not I I things. swear before this they were directing that as the front of the ship and now it looks like how did it fall backwards? That's the second time it looks like it's done that, so I'm starting to think that we're all just confused about what is the front of a Turian ship. All right, let's move! Full arsenal, it's already. For Calamus! For Earth! I think. No, over here. Okay, hold on. This is not going too hot. <laughs> uh, throw mine on that. Oh, boy. Harvester incoming. Boy. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm pressing on the thing to not make sure it pushes the. But, uh, fuck you. Charge! What are you doing? It's right in front of you. Just effing charge it. All right, fine. We'll play the shockwave game. is my cover. I can't see anything when it's shooting me. Let's move. I'm not sure who won that contest.
Oh boy. That was almost another failure there. That's gonna hurt. Well, this is going great. Can't see shit. Well, that was exhausting. Lieutenant Victus? You done fucked up. Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey. I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Of course Lieutenant, they do. If Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. 
They're not space Klingons. Men, I own what happened here today, but we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. Fuck those humans. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. I'm gonna go back to my stealth ship, take a break. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. Probably a million. Anyways, we can't have them detonating that bomb. All rogue. In a loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that. Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Well, Earth is already fucked, so yeah. Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't and make sense. And if I have Cerberus secrets, Decisions those are, like those are free for all. Me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Let's hope I didn't save him for nothing. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. What? Okay. <laughs> Gear change. Yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? Guess not. That's all. Of course, Commander. Now, if my chat with Terra is anything, I know that this bomb mission is timed. Uh, but no reason to really leave Tachanka right now, so. Anyway, he's gonna break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, he talked with Moreau. Electra's invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready Who's for getting, Who left their coffee cup on the... No, I didn't want to go back... Ugh. Just wanted to see why there was a coffee cup on the conveyor. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Jessica Fromm, dear Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica Fromm. You saved my life on Benning. I've lost so many friends on all this, but I, I, but I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I want you to know you're making a real difference. Bless you. Okay. Bless you. What the? There's a Terra command? Wait, what? They were all the way over here. Did they just hoof it? They're like right here. They got all the way over here. How big is this planet?
What? Oh, man, that spy command is really old. <laughs> sure, let's keep Garrus. Uh, you know what? It's Cerberus, so I feel like Edie still has stakes. So, come on. I swear that we had two... We had, there should be another submachine gun here. Things are We're fucked. Site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. I mean, Paragon Shepard... ...who died... Sure. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Which Where the Krogan it? would lose because he just blew up their planet. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The ninth platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Hot landing zone. But this is what charging's for. Explosions coming from. Worst time to have that on the now. Oh boy, there we go. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I didn't get to light him on fire. I hate it every time I can't keep my promise to just burn every single Cerberus technician to ash. Extreme, but those were desperate times. 
while morally questionable, the strategy is sound. See you over there. Sorry, what did I just agree to? Even in all this, it must have been far enough. That's it. How far? Out. Wait, these are all it must buildings. Have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're Where on am our I way. supposed to go? I see that ladder. Ah, there we go. A closer ladder. Darlow Exile, thank you for the 513 sub. Thank you for the cyber rifle upgrade. We're nearly on top of the bomb. I agree, Garrix. This is a high value target. Cerberus will commit any reserves it has. Which is apparently infinite. Oh no, you don't. schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. The original safeguards are no match for current technology. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. ED could probably do it faster. No trigger, no explosion. Sure, you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. Okay. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oh, but, uh. Rip. Oh, okay. Look well. Out. Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. And apparently they're very crack snipers. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear! Cerberus reinforcement. I need more time, Commander. Get up. Is it rude of me to attack you before you guys even get off? I don't know. That's always uh, fun to hear.
Harris, I need that overload. Shotgun Shepard. All right, I'm just gonna let this play out because clearly we're in action movie mode. I should have brought Liara. She might be able to catch you. Oh no, a kid died. took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice him more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Hey, Zerak. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. 
His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. Now please solve that blinking icon, damn it. My son. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. The history of the Ninth Platoon, what's left of it, which is apparently not even enough to count as a war asset. Whoops. I have a buddy who got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. That's 6? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He bought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. <laughs> well, honey, bad news. Oh, Zarek asking where I found Garrus. So, funny story. I remember from Mass Effect 2 that this Those room was only... Like my good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. Yeah. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. Uh, so now he's here, and there used to just be a wall uh, that you could look through and see the new guns. But the wall isn't here. And instead, Garrus was just over here, finely tuning the gun. All right. The extra. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over yeah. the years. Sterility plagues and all that. Water under the bridge. Not right now. Uh huh. Greetings, Commander. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Then how do you know? All right. One more check of Morden and Eve, now that I'm down here, just to make sure there's no new dialogue. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. We're already nice here. Talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. All right, get off the bed. Time to talk. Something else, Commander? Nope. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. 
I mean, a steril sterility plague is essentially a genocide by attrition. All right, time to face the shroud. All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a reaper parked at the shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of reaper, Shepard. Using it's shroud a to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the Genophage. Yeah, why Why doesn't the Meep just destroy the Shroud? Because then we can't use it for our own purposes. Everyone plays Dalatos. their part. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solis has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on That's us? That silly goof. Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? I mean, if Eve gets what she wants, maybe. But also, I've seen... Uh, you guys can't even protect your own planet, so I know your bargaining chip. And honestly, it's just not that satisfying. We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. And what will happen if they can't is we all die anyway. Nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Again, you can't even protect your homeworld from Cerberus. What does this mean for me? And I already got Major Kirihi. Let's make this an old school mission. Yeah, see the shuriken, which I can't even select anymore if I have the tempest. Well, I'm not sure weight matters. If they get lifted by my shockwave, all the better. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. 
We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. Yeah, fucking Salarians can't get over their crap. I got a message. Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Of Hang course on, the I, game doesn't even you. let you go. Hey, shit be fucked, yo. False choice, fuck you. Didn't even see that one outside the shuttle, Cortez. Keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone, pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Here they come. Move forward. There they go. Looks more and more like a shockwave battle. This is as bad as Palavin. I mean, there's only one Reaper here, so statistically speaking, probably not as bad. Not Hi! songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Which, by the way, has been sabotaged. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Reeve? God damn it. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erd not Reeve. Brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. Well, he looks dumb as For a bag I of rocks. It. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> you brought we a blood pack, Merc man. And drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. This Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? That's why. Because I do. And so will you. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. Girl power! So will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing! <laughs> For the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. 
What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. And now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Stop trying to woo Commander, her. on the shuttle. Was there something you were going to say? Dear God, yes. The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operative sabotaged... Now she records everything! Shepard learns! Eventually. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. Yeah, fuck we that Dalatras. race, another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on her. Why are we stopping? The meep's in the way. Green. Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Well do. So I'll save most of my comments on this, but I do... I mean, the action machismo is bleh, but uh, they're the Nexus points in Mass Effect 3 that kind of bring a lot of your decisions in the trilogy. It actually, I think, pretty successfully brings them to fruition. However, for every one of these, you also get the, well, save or kill the Rachni. It doesn't matter. They're here What's anyway. We can't sit around like this. I'm commenting to the chat, Rex. Give me a sec. So I'll save most of my comments on it at the until the end. But uh, I do want to say Tachanka is a good example of like, hey, all your choices during the trilogy, they mattered. Here they are. What's the hold up? Rose out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. Looks like they could jump that. Hold off your attack. Negative commander, our approach is locked. The Reaper are here. Oh. Oh. An airstrike won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Beep. Wait, hold on. Crash in the gap. Crash in the gap. Flashlight on this? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out of two. Felt like a tremor. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. We all we have out? one. No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Sorry, but the ground is shaking down here. Are you guys feeling the tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. 
They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Oh, great. More Rachni. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. We oh, ran them we over. It was funny. Find us fast. They made a very nice squishing sound. Finally, light ahead. In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. Younger days being you two years what ago. What the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Which makes you wonder why the Krogans were built so hardy if their planet was just another garden world. We're on it. Dealing with the Reaper when we get there will be another matter. Ahead, we've got movement. Nothing stays quiet here for long. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I shot on the perimeter! Not a place we want to get trapped! Shit, hope everything's dying. Oh boy. How many of you are there? Oh, okay, you just do that on demand. Well, that was fun. Another quake. That had to be Calrum. Stay sharp. I got goo all over me. It isn't over yet. Why can't we ever go someplace nice? They just spawned another one? Come on. I'm literally trying to kill this group we are. Do not say this is the last of it. It's very rude. Now it's the last of it. Jeez. Okay, clearly not supposed to go that way. Looks like another shooting gallery. Of course. I can never just have one. And I can't warp over here. What? Come. What? Freaking charge! Charge, charge, any charging now? Are you gonna charge? Nope, just take here, is freaking stand here and take it. Because for some reason my charge button isn't working. Now we got it. Uh, can't really look at the sandworm right now. 
Don't stop. Look away. Look. Look. Stop. Stop it. What? What are you doing? Of course it's blocked. Now I just get to stand here and die. Done? Shepard, Rex busy driving truck. Are you still alive? Doing what we can. What about you? Alarmed yet entertained. Kalros is quite persistent. Reeve, stay close. Drive faster. I can smell the damn thing's breath. Shepard, we've almost lost Kalros. Get down from there and we'll find you. Garrus, why do Turians explode when they die? Can, but sure. Move it. It's Kalra. Move, Shepard. Bye, We're Reeve. In. Go. What about Reeve? He's dead. No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. Wah, wah. There's a reaper waiting for us. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. It's just a meet, that guys. Town. I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. And I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper, draw it from tower while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way. I didn't to literally go head to head. Before. This There's is head no to head. Choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two maw hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Like how I just smashed my Wait. fingers through each other. I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot. And a sister to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean 
Hero. Give me a kiss. Now, let's show Not romantic. Line. Go. I've got this. I have heard that Rex. And this is my planet. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my least favorite planet in the decide. galaxy. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Stop, won't stop, game stop. Commander, this is Artemic Wing. We'll try to give that reaper something else to do. I need a war asset! Goddess, be with me. Go, let's push ahead. Over on our left, one of the hammers. Second one's on the right. Three brutes, how cute. But now it's a fair fight. Now maybe we have a problem. Uh, yeah, let's just go this way. <laughs> Ouch! You just try to step on me? You dick! Shepard. Oh, not 
good for the shroud. Yeah, that's really annoying to shoot at, isn't it, me? Okay then. Oh yeah, I should have done the for thousands of years I lay dormant. Morton, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortune will stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. If only we could use that to convince the Dallas boss. Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion's likely to be problematic. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. One last time. He is the very model of the scientist Salarian. He studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. He's an expert at genetics, which is a subset of biology, of which he's an expert, which we know is a tautology. His xenoscience ranges from urban to agrarian. He is the very model of a scientist Salarian. Walked away from worse. Well, hope the climate doesn't need that anymore. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. He's under that rock. I think Genophage reduced us to animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. 
Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. In more ways than one. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. I liked Eve better, but okay. Also, Bakora! Commander, the Dalatros is sending me very angry emails. Can you shut her up? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. Selfish the pricks. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Sir, they couldn't protect themselves out. from Cerberus. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. Why do, Why does this thing have to be Earth? spirits watch over us all. Especially more than spirit. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shenrit. You must be exhausted. More than dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> we both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. I'm gonna dream about that fucking kid. I just know it, Garrus. I will stay awake Anything until the happens, end of this fucking story. Uh, never mind. You know what? I'm gonna use this stupid dream sequence to say, uh, to talk about what I was saying during Tachanka. Uh, because there is a way to actually get the Krogan and Solarian support, but you have to be able to deceive the Krogans, which you can't do if Rex and Eve survive. But, uh, Eve dies if you don't get Malin's data in Mass Effect 2, and of course you know how we lose Rex in Mass Effect 1. In Mass Effect, and that's why Reeve kind of gets whoop in here in Mass Effect 3. If Reeve's in charge, he's too dumb to notice the deception. And all you really have to do is worry about convincing Morton not to try and sacrifice himself to save the Shroud, or the Cure in general. That ends up being your big dialogue choice, and if you pass that, you end up getting the Solarian support and the Krogan support. Although you'd think the Krogans would go, hey, why are the Solarians helping? But, eh. And so that's what I was talking about, where that is actually, I think, a very good nexus of your choices from the previous games, adding up to something in here. Is it kind of action movie schlock? Yeah. But, you know, even I can't be totally jaded at seeing the worm of Arrakis attack a meat. And of course, that, that creates the delta of choice. It matters so it just Rex survives, and Eve dies because you don't have Malin's data. Or you could have Eve and Reeve, which is a, sounds like a great buddy cop show. My pay fucking attention to this. Womps and shadow people. I wasn't even in this park. Why aren't you Caden? He's someone I actively chose to let die. You were just an incidental casualty. Oh no, now he's on fire again, isn't he? Burn, child! Burn! Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno! Burn, baby, burn! Oh no!
Dear Diary, I had that same fucking dream again. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? No. <laughs> it's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Can you tell him just how many fucks I have to give? Especially to the Dalatros? Because if we're not starting on that, we have a problem. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... Okay, you could just go with go on and join the Galatross. Representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Probably to Cerberus, that fucking traitor. If Udina's dirty, it's That's why I didn't pick him fast. for the council. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valor out. Oh, hey, you have a name. Good for you. I'll forget it. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. <sighs> I was just on VidCom. What is it? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What? What? It's... What? What? I... I... Why are you on VidCom? It's just... Bye. <laughs> Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Yeah, you called me, hack it. Or was Trainer just saying, oh yeah, by the way. All right, let's see how much the war assets changed. Hey, that's a pretty big bump. Almost to minimum. Or not Rex. Just five better than Grunt. The Krogan clans. Clan Erdnot, which is just as powerful as the rest of the clans. And hey, the mercenaries are back. Good for them. Well, I have a feeling something stupid's gonna happen when I go to the Citadel, so I guess we'll be putting that off for a bit. It could have been an email, hack it. The diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same Commander, fight. Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. <sighs> that sounds like a multiplayer base, isn't it? Also, he could have told me that when I called him. All right, let's see here. Uh, Alliance Teams Network Information Partners. Pharos, who have colonists on Pharos have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, two years ago, has repelled re uh, initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct exogeny facility. This colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Elizabeth Benham said, Benham? We've been we've survived work, thanks to Commander Shepard, and we know how to fight together. The colony expected to have time for full evacuation before more of the forces arrive. Shiala, speaking of the AN report. Zeus Hope's doing well. Thorian's dead. I helped you against Vateria Frontiers. Good for you. Oh, making babies. Shepard, making babies again will be fun. Soon as war will be over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in Celtic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like sh me sharing power with her, but too bad I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. They were too busy calibrating. They forgot how to hold it. And here's Dalatros wagging the finger at me. Don't you dare tarnish Morton's name, you bitch. 
And you also have a name, which I'm not even going to utter. Boo. Boo on you, Dalatros. Boo on you. Oh, hey. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? The friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. That was fun. That was fun banter. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. Not everyone in the galaxy is already doing that? Okay. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. Alternate happen. universe. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. Like, seriously, the second she said it, I said no, so... I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Is it set? Well, well, Carrie's on our side and Morton's dead, so the rest of the Salarians can stick it. Let's hope our luck holds. Where the hell? I can come in here? This feels like a very bad security failure. Bottom up. That last job on Tachanka was intense. Yeah, how the shuttle do? Near support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Wait, on the last mission? Just one more diagnostic suite. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how much of this stuff is worth getting. Just so much stuff. Though this might be worth something. 
Yeah, get that. What? Alright, James, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on? Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not gonna start growing scales or anything, right? Well, start fucking people on the ship, James, and we'll see what happens. Hey, do you like the strong people that lived in here that the, the, he can start breeding now? Oh, hey, conversation. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. The what? How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. Uh, tyranny. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It's a cramped it and me. annoying box. The stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. I haven't even touched this, can I? Nope. Nope, just sits here. Alright. Anything else? You have killed a Reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. I mean, Three I more. didn't. I just yes. got help. A difficult fight remains. I have heard about the oh. offer the Salarians made. I would have accepted it, and not told the Grogan. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. And the Krogans are better resources because, as we've seen in the Rachni War, they can actually prevent galactic extinction while the Solarians just succumb to it. So, still feel like I made the better choice, even in the pragmatic stance. 
phage cure, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. That planet. Ugh. Commander, got a minute? <sighs> what do I you guess. Want to... You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut and that don't together focus with on my eyes. segment and send it to command for approval. Oh, hey, got more Krogan clan support, I guess. I'm not sure. Next. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. No crew health issues to report. No crew health issues to report. Except the dead Morton Solace, Chakwas! I'll need to think of a fitting memorial before I close the stream out. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. I mm, hope it doesn't do any of that ghostly indoctrination. The genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Or will this be Eve's organizing the female Krogan? She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. Like your mom? Boom! Shepard just said that. Oh yeah, he's right, he's in the cockpit. Silly me. Wait a minute. But he left the cockpit. Garrus, where are you? Wait, he's still on the bridge? Okay. Wait, where was Edie? I lost her. Oh, back in the AI core. Okay, well, hold on. I do want to check with her. Everybody's everywhere. It's nice that they have that kind of dynamic nature to them, but also pain in the ass when I'm trying to fucking find them. Yes, I could just look at the map, but where's the fun in that? So, are you just standing in you? What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Also, we're calling them Meeps. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Okay, I guess that's the end of that conversation.
I don't even feel like I'm going any faster. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. Really? I've Not even a follow-up? A house on Tachanka. I'm moving away. All right, let's see if we have the galaxy expand at all now that we've finished what seems to be the first major story beat after Palavin. Zoom out. Uh, it does look like a few new clusters of po oh, yeah, the Horsehead Nebula. I think Attic and Beta is new too. So I'll probably probe a few of these systems for new war assets. But first, let's go kick some more servers in play. We can't just end this on one sad note. We have to know we also beat the crap out of Cerberus. Okay, it's just the pack system. Got it. Yeah, how are the corporations happy now? Cerberus is here. Javik and James, why not? You know what? I don't care enough about you. How about you take you take the claymore? That way it's always with us in some way or form. Shape or form. Uh let's see. The final nova. So 25% chance of not using up my shields or supercharged damage. Hmm. This is kind of a tough choice. Be nice to keep my shields. But also, I really want it to hurt people. I guess at the end of the day, since it doesn't require the cooldown, I can just charge again to get the shields back. 20 points, I have not used you at all. Do you even do melee damage, though? I don't think that's worth it. I mean, I already have this, so I don't really much of a point not putting it on you. Sure. <laughs> want me to handle this. Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. This is a giant facility. And of course, Cerberus Branding. I thought they took over this facility. Clearly, they built it if they have that everywhere. Command center. The enemy has returned. Any more? 
Tat. That's a bit of shameful. I set up that shot and still missed. Commander, shutdown command has to be synced up from the console. Okay, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's the turret? That doesn't sound good. Cortez, I read you. Come in. Matter. 
Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Hey, hey, I saw that. Your victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus. Are you just hiding back there, Hackett? Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. We later find out Hackett is really just hiding in the war room and he pops out every time his hologram gets called up. This is the safest ship in the galaxy, right? I got five more points for the Krogan clan, so that's what a Paragon check gets you. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. You heard from him? Did you fucking shoot no, him? No, I cut ties. Reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Better not be from the Solarians. Ah, Eve calling us. Commander, I'm riding you from the Kelpic Valley on Tuchanka. Tuchanka! I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly in two thousand for nearly two thousand years. There is reason to hope. This I owe you, Commander. This I will never forget. Good. So when the rebellions pop up, it will not be our fault. All right. So we've got a little bit of the galaxy to explore before we have to face the inevitable betrayal of Ambassador Udina, that fucking asshole. But first, an ode to Morden. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to get myself in the mood. He was the very model of a scientist Solarian. He studied species Turian, Asarian, and Batarian. He was an expert in eugenics, eugenetics, that's a subset of biology, of which he was an expert, which we know is not a tautology. His xenoscience ranged from urban to agrarian. He was the very model of a scientist Solarian. Rest in peace, Morton. We will not have to deal with the crap we find after. And thank you guys for joining me. Glad, glad we could have one more jaunt through Mass Effect 3 to end the week out. Let me see if I can't have you guys raid anybody. I think Nick is still alive, but it takes two. Yeah, let's do that. He's been doing it with Caitlin for a while. I don't know how deep they are into it, but might as well send you guys off to somebody. It's Friday night. We're still partying. Except for me, I've got car troubles. But I hope everyone has a great weekend. I probably won't be back with this on Monday. I've got, well, pretty much everything from today to help fix now that the week when the weekend's over. Uh, but I think Wednesday will be the soonest I can come back to this. And hopefully by then we'll I'll have found all the extra war assets and there'll be not much to do but just dive right into the Citadel and deal with Udina's inevitable betrayal. Until then, later.